Let me explain the second biggest problem hitters are challenged with during their games. This problem happens in the acceleration phase. If the hitter picks up the ball good in the flight path and they're looking at the ball coming in and they, they, they can calibrate the speed of the pitch, and they can calibrate the space the ball is moving into and the ball looks so good to them, right? This is what happens. The last five feet, maybe six feet of the flight path, the hitter can't take it anymore and just wants to mash the ball. The hitter wants to crush the ball. The hitter wants to just hit the ball as hard as you can. The hitter wants to swing as hard as they can. And do you know what happens when that is being manifested most of the time? I didn't say all, but I'm saying most of the time. The hitter experiences a disconnection. The hitter experiences a disconnection with the flight path. There's a disconnection with the end of the flight path. There's a disconnection to where the last final space I'm going to react to the ball in this flight path. And because there's a disconnection, I mess up. I roll over. I pop up. I'm even swing and miss. At the last five feet of the flight path, let me sum it up. The hitter gets too excited and experiences something that I've called years back angst. They experience hitter's angst. How you think about the ball ultimately affects how you time your vision. This is the most valuable mechanism for elite hitting. Together, let's help our players, let's help our kids to be as good as they can be while they're still young. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. May the Lord bless you.